What's up everybody, Tommy Har with The Real Side of Real Estate showing you how to buy houses, renovate houses, keep houses as rentals, build generational wealth for yourself, all doing it the real way in The Real Side of Real Estate. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how you can manage and effectively do 10 to 15 plus rehabs at a time, so make sure you stay tuned. If you know anything about flipping houses, you know that it can and will be a full-time job for you. Especially if you're doing one to two, it can be part-time. If you're doing three, four, five at a time, it becomes very, very involved. So what I want you to realize is you're not only just finding deals, you have to find the deals, you have to find the contractors, you have to find the funding, you have to figure out your design, you have to figure out how to sell it. There's a lot of pieces to the puzzle that go into flipping a house. And the one thing that you can do to take a little bit of the emotion in that process out is systemizing your rehabs using a specific finish package. That's exactly what I'm gonna take you through in this whole video right here. For me, and I'm assuming you that's watching this video, you wanna create a business out of flipping houses. For me, I like the creativity side, but this is not a creativity outlet for me. I don't care that much about the tile selections. I don't care about the certain things and the cute little finishes. I am doing this to create financial freedom for myself, my family, and my future generations to come. So that's the way that I've built my business and that's exactly what you're gonna learn throughout the rest of this video. So if you really like to do accent walls and you like to pick out certain tiles, this video is not for you. This is for somebody that really wants to pick a style that works, run with it, and be able to do 10, 15, 20 rehabs at a time and create a freedom and lifestyle business which is what we've been able to create with our flipping company today. We're standing in a house that we just flipped. We're actually selling it next week. We bought it for $90,000. We put $55,000 into the rehab and we're selling it this Friday for $225,000 in two and a half months. Because we are able to systemize our rehabs, we are not on top of our contractors, we're gonna make $60,000 and we're not using any of our money. Make sure you watch my other videos if you want to learn what that is. So let's walk around this house. I'm going to show you around and I'm going to tell you what we did to this house. And I'm going to tell you something about the material selections and some of the things that go along with it. So we opened up this wall here. This was filled with debris, filled with trash. We have new LVP floors, new cabinets, new granite, new backsplash. We always use stainless steel appliances. We have our cabinet poles. We have new windows throughout the house. Um, these are pretty much standard things that go in all of our houses. So that's the kitchen. We'll take you through the other sides of the house. Oh, there we go. So we got ba uh, bathroom number one. I'll let Rob pop his head in there and show you. And then we got our master bedroom. I know that people aren't allowed to say that anymore, master bedroom. But I still call it that. So master bedroom followed by a ensuite master bathroom. So you got a nice big bathroom with a walk-in shower on this side. This house is not huge, but it's a perfect house. A three bed, two bath, great for first time families, great for investors, great for rentals. This is exactly what we're looking for when we're trying to buy houses, rentals, flips, whatever it is, these are highly desirable. And then we got bedroom two. And then we got bedroom number three. And let's start talking about the materials. New flippers and even flippers that I know, they're only flipping a couple at a time. They take way too much time deciding on their finishes of that property. So every single house they're doing different tile, they're doing different floors, different paint colors. I don't wanna spend my time at Lowe's. I wanna spend my time with my family, I wanna spend time making money somewhere else, and I want this thing to be repeatable. So what we do in our business is we split our projects up into two. We have two different categories. We have a builder grade and we have a high-end flip. So most of our rental properties in this house right here, they fall into what's called our builder grade category. And then we have a higher end, which I'll show you in another video, which upgrades certain things in our material list. But once you can remove the emotion out of choosing the materials, it allows you to make decisions faster. It allows you to manage your expectations with your contractors. You don't have to go to Lowe's all the time. 
and you can order materials. You can have materials left over used on other projects. It allows you to really build a real business out of this. And let me break down what we did exactly in this house, which is our builder grade. Like I said, right now I'm standing in one of our flips, but this property right here, it had two exits. It could be a rental property and it could have been a flip. So before we started, and that's a big point, before you start the project, you need to determine what kind of finished package you're gonna use. So I knew right away that I was going to be using builder grade materials in this house. Now when I say builder grade, that doesn't mean crappy finishes. It doesn't mean that you cut corners. It just means the quality and the actual materials itself are not expensive as your high-end tile. So when people hear that, they think, oh, you're cheaping out. No, the stuff behind the walls is all still good. Everything's okay. But this is how all the builders do it with houses anyway. So new build houses, you have builder grade, and then you have upgrades. So that's exactly what we do within our flipping company. If you're sitting here watching this video and you're thinking, well, Tom, I don't know if I should use builder grade, if I should hi use high-end finishes. You need to figure out comparable sales in your area. So this house right here, the ARV, or what we're selling for is 225. That's not a high-end product in our area. So we're not gonna be using quartz countertops. We're not gonna be using soft closed cabinets. We're not gonna be using hardwood floors. We're doing what the comps allow us because if you over rehab and overspend, you're not gonna get the return on your investment. So make sure that you do that before you start to build your finish list and it goes market by market. So now that I've told you exactly how we do things, let me get to how we do our finish package. So right here is our builder finish package. And since you're watching this video as my other videos, I'm gonna give you a free gift. In the description of this video, down at the bottom, you're gonna see a link. Click that link, you're gonna get my exact material list, no strings attached. So use it, tweak it, use it as a template, but that's my gift to you for being a subscriber, so thank you very much. So I'm gonna go through this whole entire house right now, and I'm gonna tell you one by one all of these items that we use and some of the costs that go along with them. So we'll start here. We'll, we'll, our flooring. So this is LVP flooring, luxury vinyl plank. We use it in low end, we use it in high end, but I'm only gonna go over my builder grade here. So this is LVP from floor and decor. It's $1.39 a square foot. This house is, tw uh, I think, 1,200 square foot. So material for this house was like 1,500 bucks. Labor was probably double that. So we probably only spent 4,000 bucks or so to, to do these floors. Whereas a high end, it would be almost double. So that is our builder grade. It looks beautiful. And a lot. another tip is a lot of people don't know the difference between high end and low end as long as it's installed right. So next, let's go into our kitchen. We use Lowe's cabinets or Menards cabinets, whatever is in stock. They're always shaker. These are, these are in stock, so we can go grab them as we want. If we need another cabinet, they're, they're there. On top of that, we have our low-end granite. I keep saying low-end, but it's not actually low-end. It's just the, the lower of the specs that you can get. So this is the shards that they use. We use this black speckle mixed with subway tile. You're gonna see this all over the material list. Subway tile, we're using things that are timeless. So we're not going with trends that are right now. You're not gonna see any gray floors, any gray walls. We're using light beige paint. We use subway tile. So subway is long this way. Three by six ceramic. These are 10 cents or less for each tile. So each of our surrounds are very cheap to put in. You get boxes and boxes of them and you go and use them on other houses after you're done and we use what's called a frost grout. I don't use white grout because it gets dirty and you won't be able to um, clean it very easily. This is an Amazon fixture. I think these fixtures are like $35, whereas if you go to Lowe's, you're gonna spend $100 on something like that. We use the same cabinet poles on every single house. These are three inch cabinet poles. We get them from Amazon. Very nice, but they're also very, very cheap. We have an appliance person that we use for everything. I'm not gonna get into that too much, but this is all systemized. It's all the same. We don't change things. We'll come in here. We got our light fixture. Hopefully you can see that. I can turn it on or I can turn it off. Light fixture, this is from Amazon. Amazon, it's like $15 for these light fixtures. They're nice, they follow the same finish package. Another thing, if you're gonna use a finish color, do it in the whole entire house on these flips. If you look through this house as we go through it, black on the finish of the light. We got black doorknobs, we got black door hinges, we got black shower fixtures, we got black um, uh, 
everything. Everything is black. But it, once you start mixing and matching is where you go wrong. So you need to pick your design, you need to run with it. So into the bathroom. <clears throat> Lowe's vanity, like 150 bucks. Lowe's toilet, 100 bucks. Shower surround, same thing. We've got our subway tile with our frost grout. It's timeless, it's beautiful. You can use it in a flip, you can use it in a rental property. You're gonna get top dollar for these things. Amazon fixtures, cheap, but they're functional, they work. So you're starting to get the picture. The same thing over and over and over again. If you start to look at my rehab, you'll say, Tom, that sounds boring. It is boring. Boring businesses make money. I know that if I have leftovers of this flooring in another house and I chose it as my builder grade, I just pick it up from this house and I take it to the next. Next thing, my wall color. I use a eggshell sheen. It's Greek Villa. It's a Valspar. It's a light beige. It looks white, but it's got a little bit of beige to it. So it's contrast from the white and the, and the, and the trim and the ceilings. This we use on every single house. So if I'm flipping this house and somebody's asking me, hey, what color did you use? I can tell them exactly what it is. Or if I kept this house as a rental property and we have to turn it, I don't have to scramble and look to see what I need to go buy next time, right? So it's repeatable. Same thing with the floors, everything. So we got our light fixtures. We already talked about our bathrooms. And that's pretty much it. We use the same trim. So this is Lowe's trim. It's a three inch. It's the builder grade. It's basic. We use our same doors so these are hollow core six panel doors one two three four five six standard doors so that right there is our material list make sure you download the link down below this is going to allow you to really build a business that not you don't want to walk away from it but you can shut it off for a week and your contractors aren't going to have to call you and say hey tom i know you talked about this gold fixture in this house i don't want any of that that's not what we want in our business i want to be able to set it and forget it that's how businesses start to scale. And that right there is the real side of real estate. Make sure you're liking, subscribing, and throwing a comment if this helps you in your business. When I learned these things, they completely changed my business, changed my life monetarily, and helped my business out. So if you like this and you wanna learn more and you wanna learn how to actually flip properties, join the real side of real estate community today. The link's in my YouTube bio and show me some love over on Instagram. I'd love to chat with you, hang out with you, and uh, see how I can help you change your life. Let's get to it. Welcome to the real side of real estate.